The last four years might feel like a lifetime for many of us. Might be hard to believe it's nearly been that long since Colin Kaepernick first made headlines for his actions on the sidelines and not as a quarterback on the field. He kneeled to call attention to police brutality and racial injustice, and many say that led to his exile from the league and that it didn't make a difference. That is until the death of George Floyd. Now the NFL has expressed its support of players peacefully protesting racial injustice. That has woken up many to the issues of racial inequality and police brutality. The issues Kaepernick brought to light by simply taking a knee. Mina Kimes takes us through his journey. George Floyd! George Floyd! We have levers right now. We got to keep pushing forward. No peace! As the world mourns and protests the death of George Floyd, I'm angry. Many athletes have drawn parallels between the horrific video of a Minneapolis police officer kneeling on Floyd's neck and the contrasting image of former San Francisco 49ers quarterback Colin Kaepernick kneeling during the national anthem to protest racism and police brutality. And Super Bowl 47 has begun. It was seven years ago that Kaepernick, in his second year in the league, was at the top of his game, leading the 49ers to a Super Bowl. Kaepernick lob to the end zone. Incomplete! No flags on the play! Incomplete! And within inches of a championship, that would all change. The 49ers and the Packers at Levi's Stadium. August 26th. 2016 preseason game at Levi Stadium as the national anthem plays Kaepernick sits a few days later he explained I'll continue to sit when there's significant change and I feel like that flag represents what it's supposed to represent and this country is representing people the way that's supposed to I'll stand Kaepernick would later explain he was motivated to act after 26-year-old Mario Woods was shot and killed by San Francisco police. Let's drop it, Let's drop it oh my God! What's it Are you serious? Stay back! Are you serious? There's a lot of things that need to change. One specifically is police brutality. There's people being murdered unjustly and not being held accountable. NFL star suddenly at the center of a national debate. Colin Kaepernick is speaking out about his protest. After Kaepernick's He's protest made national news, Nate Boyer, a former NFL long snapper and retired Green Beret, reached out to the quarterback and suggested he kneel instead of sitting as a sign of respect for the military. People were upset. People were on his team, against him. It was like it became this very two-sided divisive issue. I support the rights. Those are rights that I fought for. And whether we agree with them or not is not what matters. As the 2016 season progressed, other NFL players joined Kaepernick's protest, despite the backlash it inspired. The movement spread outside the NFL, from high school football players to U.S. women's soccer star Megan Rapinoe. I'm Colin Kaepernick, and I know my rights. That fall, Kaepernick also launched the Know Your Rights Camp, a nonprofit to provide resources to young people and help them navigate encounters with police. I'm currently working uh, with organizations to be involved and in making sure that I'm actively in these communities, uh, as well as donating the first million dollars I make this year to different organizations to help these communities and help these people. On January 1st, 2017, the quarterback played his last game as a 49er. Kaepernick, who was likely to be cut, opted out of his contract. He did not receive a single offer from an NFL team. He's radioactive to these owners. The fact is Kaepernick can't get a job anywhere. It's political for the NFL not to give Colin Kaepernick a job. When the 2017 season began, the protests were still going on. And then this. Wouldn't you love to see one of these NFL owners when somebody disrespects our flag to say, get that son of a bitch off the field right now, out, he's fired. He's fired! That weekend, players across the league took a knee. 
What makes this the greatest country in the world are the liberties it was founded upon and the freedom to express oneself in a respectful and peaceful manner. Colin Kaepernick is taking action against the NFL. The free agent QB has filed a grievance under the collective bargaining agreement. This move is not through the NFL Players Association. The thought behind this move is that league owners are perhaps colluding against him since he first knelt during the national anthem. All the clubs individually have to make their own decisions about who's on the roster, who's not on the roster. Um, Colin, as you know, has filed a grievance, so I'm not going to talk specifically about that case. The case would eventually be settled. So don't ask if your dreams are crazy. Ask if they're crazy enough. In September 2018, Nike made Kaepernick, still out of the league, the face of a new ad campaign. Believe, Believe in, in something, something. Even, even if, if it means sacrificing, sacrificing everything. everything. He has done a lot for the African-American community. And it's cost him a lot. And, you know, it's, it's sad, but having a huge company back him, I feel like that was a really powerful statement. As the 2019 season began, Kaepernick was still unsigned. Then, in week 11, the NFL announced, with little notice, that it would hold a private workout for Kaepernick. But after contentious negotiations broke down, the quarterback decided to hold his own workout. Only a handful of scouts showed up. How's everybody doing? How you doing? How you doing? I've been ready for three years. I've been denied for three years. We all know why I came out here showed it today in front of everybody. I'll interview with any team at any time, and I'll continue to be ready. And now, six months later, as the NFL and its teams issue statements decrying systemic racism, as players and coaches make their voices heard, Kaepernick's name is being brought up again. Colin was trying to symbolize the oppression that was going on in America and that has been going on for 400 years. And the reality is what Colin was trying to do was that he was trying to do the right thing. Regardless of whether you agree with how he did it or not, that doesn't matter. What Colin was protesting was something that was should be respected by all humans. What you cannot do is use the flag as a blindfold. You can't, you can't use the flag as a blindfold and not see the things you've seen with your very eyes that tell you that what's keeping this country held back is this systemic racism. Four years after Kaepernick first took a knee, much of the NFL and the world has rallied behind his cause. He remains an activist and recently raised funds to help protesters in Minneapolis. He also remains unsigned. Mina Kimes with that story. ESPN senior writer Howard Bryant joins us now. You heard Mina's last line there, Howard. Why do you think it is that Colin Kaepernick is still out of the NFL when others who protested racial inequality and pol police brutality back in 2016 have remained on rosters? Well, because he's the symbol, I think, more than anything else. And when you're the symbol, they make an example out of you. And he's been the example that they've made out for the last four years. And I think that what this really says more than anything else was the, the payback was permanent, and it has been permanent. His protest, obviously a peaceful one in the context of this past week. It looks even more so. The players wanted the NFL to admit it was wrong in silencing players from peacefully protesting. Roger Goodell did that yesterday, Howard. How much weight do you put in those words? Well, you know what, David? I don't put a lot of uh, weight into it for a couple of reasons. One is because I disagree with the commissioner. The players, they did listen to the players. They listened to the players they wanted to listen to. They listened to Malcolm Jenkins. They listened to Anquan Bolden. They listened to a lot of players. What they did do, however, was they absolutely engineered the end of one player's career. And not only did they end one player's career, but they actually created an entire organization to neutralize him. The Players Coalition exists because Colin Kaepernick was kneeling. So it's a lot of this is misdirection to me. I think the real problem with what's taking place here is if we're all about what we've been seeing for the past couple of, the last week in terms of all of these statements and such, 
can you have reconciliation without truth? Can you actually talk about moving forward and actually caring about these issues when you still couldn't even mention Colin Kaepernick's name? You couldn't mention his name and you couldn't mention police. Now, these are very difficult issues, obviously, but at some point you have to face the issues, right? I mean, at some point you have to be able to say, here's what's happening and we're going to clean the slate. And there's no chance right now that it even appears that they're willing to do that. So I'm very dubious about all of it. Okay, so if he mentions Colin Kaepernick's name, if Colin Kaepernick gets back in the league, what does that mean for the NFL on its stance for racial equality? Well, I think it means something very significant. It means that the NFL is recognizing that it has to be what it says it is. You cannot have this, all of this commentary. You can't have Roger Goodell giving statements. You can't do all of that. You can't say black lives matter if you're not going to recognize the black life that you ruined, that you actually went out and actively sought to end his career. And But I think the more important part, David, is the fact that they're a $15 billion industry, and there has to be room for everybody. There has to be room for all of these different attitudes and these different points of view. You saw it with the video with the players yesterday. And there's no way that you're going to be able to say that you're an inclusive organization to everybody if you're going out and you're actively silencing the players. I mean, I just feel like when I think about this, I think about the ability of a country to be able to handle the truth. <laughs> you, know, you have to be able to handle what's taking place. And it's, it's actually one of the areas where we're at our worst is the inability to actually sit down and say, listen, the world's not going to collapse if Colin Kaepernick is playing football in the NFL. If anything, it's actually helpful. Are, are you optimistic? Do you feel like anything has changed with the, with the NFL? I mean, as you know, this has been an unbelievable period in this nation's history, just the last 10, 12 days. Do you feel like the NFL has moved at all here? Well, I feel like the country's coming apart right now. And I think it's bigger than the NFL. And I think that when you see all of these young people in the street and you see them in, as passionate as they are and you see the response, you look at all of this and you see the type of, of confrontations that you have. It's, a, it's very scary right now. So when I think about the NFL, I think, okay, I'm looking at the NFL, the, N the NBA, basketball, I'm looking at all of these different organizations out there putting these statements out about equality and, uh, and about togetherness and about having people's backs. And now I want to see what, you know, what you're about. I want to see what you're going to actually do. And I think that that's the part where is it, is it a reckoning or is it just another dance? Yep. We're going to find out, hopefully, if it's just corporate PR with these statements or if there's some legitimate support and legitimate change going on with those organizations. Always great to talk to Howard Bryant, get his insight into what's going on right now.